Hey, it's Scaredy Cat 2, and welcome back to another scary indie horror game. Tonight, we're going to be playing a short indie game called Teleforum, Walter Martin's Teleforum. Um, this is a VHS found footage type game. Uh, it looks quite spooky. I don't know much about it. The synopsis is Walter Martins is no longer with us. What happened was broadcast live, so why does no one have the same version of the story? Investigate Walter's last and mysterious program. Interview his wife. Inspect his apartment. Discover the redacted. What was discovered should never be revealed. Teleform is a short analog horror story exploring the unknown side of the media. Conduct an interview and try to uncover what really happened to Walter Martins. Interview a recent widow in a documentary style adventure point and click hybrid. Find out what happened to Walter Martins or not. And it says it features a short analog horror n narrative Play the reporter, conduct an interview, play the cameraman, explore an apartment, unnerving VHS sequences, gunpowder the dog. So that is what we have for this evening, my lovelies. Looks like it has good reviews. I think, uh, I think we're going to have fun with this one, and I hope you enjoy it. So let's get over and play the game. Well, I do have to say, I like their television set goes quite well with the ambiance here. Walter Martin's Teleform. Let's go. Okay, Juliana. Okay, this is the right building. Hey, you got that camera on? Uh, let me remove the lens cover. There. Right. It's best to have as much material as possible. We want the sixth floor. Can you get the button? I'm holding the camera. Why are you asking me to press the button? What are you holding, Juliana? Not the camera. We're six. What is it? You look like you have something to say. Mm, don't you think it's wrong to bother a widow? I was just thinking about what happened. Did you get authorization for this? Mm. We're going to interview a widow, so maybe, maybe it's not very polite. If we don't do this, someone else will. You know Augusto, back at the station. He's itching to make a special show about this. Trust me, new guy. I didn't get here waiting for them to give me the jobs. It was bizarre. You didn't see it, did you? They just told me how it happened. What he used to... You know. You're lucky. I wish I hadn't seen it. You heard it, right? He gave Kelso a VHS tape. Why is VHS tape uh, highlighted? The VT operator? Right. Kelso was supposed to broadcast the tape, but he couldn't. Technical issues. Then bam, it happened. Oh, we're here. Come on. Okay, we're going to apartment 608. Easy to remember. Go to the light side. Head towards the trash bags. Tra- why would- Okay. Trash bags? Oh. That was a good guess. I think it's that apartment just ahead. Here we are. Well, let's get ready, shall we? 
You can film her getting the door and all that. So, should I knock on the door? Ring the bell? What'll look better on video? Are you kidding me? What'll look better on video? Um... Ring the bell. Is that the bell? Okay, I wonder if she's up to talking to strangers right now? I hope the camera doesn't act up during the interview. No, I'm more concerned about her than our camera. Because apparently something really awful happened to her husband. And my partner is very insensitive about this. If she isn't, she will be now. Hmm. I don't think I like Juliana. Let me try again. Hmm. Did, yeah, let's ask if she's worked with Walter for a long time. Because if she actually knew him, then maybe it would be less obnoxious of her to be doing this. Some. Four years. Well, that's some time. I'm... This hit me hard too, you know? I want to do something for him. Okay. A little less mad at her now. And take advantage of the situation in the process. Yeah, kind of that too. Sure. He'd say I'm demonstrating a sharp sense for opportunity. Okay. Knocky knock. All right. Third time's the charm. What do you want? Hi, Mrs. Martins. We're from Channel 8. We came to give you our condolences. Yeah, with a camera. Do you really need a video camera for that? We're making a special program about Walter. A homage, a kind of retrospective, you see? He worked at the station for so long. So we wanted to talk to you about him, about what happened. Right. Fine, come in. It might be good to talk about it. Quick thinker, huh? A homage? Yeah, a homage. Why not? We can edit it later. Oh, that's so slimy. Right now, we need the raw material. Ugh. Okay, she's back down. She just... Started to like her a little bit. No, I don't. No, she just knocked herself back down on the peg. Come on, before she changes her mind. Thank you again for welcoming us, Mrs. Martins. Uh, Mrs. Martins is creepy. Hmm. Silva here will film our conversation, okay? Will he now? I'll have to think about that. What? Would you like to drink anything? Tea? Coffee? Oh, I, I never refuse a cup of coffee. Me, neither. I'll go make some. She pulled a fast one on you, huh? Forget that. Let's snoop around while we have the chance. Make sure to get anything that catches your eye on camera. We're surrounded by material here. Look at these certificates. Journalism degrees from UFRGS. Specialization in communication. Walter was well educated. I think Mrs. Martins is just the same. What a waste. Oh, it would be a shame if we only had some shots of the same wall. So look around the whole room here, okay? Oh, okay. Oh, wait, 
can I look at this stuff or the books? There are a lot of books in this house. I just noticed a doggo down there. Anything interesting? Hmm. There's a book that doesn't quite fit here. Let me see. It's an electronics manual. It's bookmarked on a page about the cathode ray tube, the CRT. The pages are loose. Doggy? Aw, hi doggy. Good one. We need a nice shot of gunpowder. Walter even carried the dog's picture in his wallet. He showed it around as if it were a photo of his son. Okay. This plant is begging for water. Guess it's been neglected in the last few days, considering all that happened. Hey, I can hear her putting water in the filter. She'll be back soon. Check out all you can now. Oh shit. I remember Walter brought this raincoat to cover a story. Some lake where it rains a lot or something. Right. The image got stuck in my head because he just vanished inside the thing. I remember he got cheated out of some 500 cruzeros for an oversized coat. Cruzeros? What's a cruzero? He looked ridiculous in it, but he paid so much for the damn coat, he just had to wear it. Poor guy. Keys? Chicken. Is it gonna rain today? Hardly. The rooster says otherwise, look. These roosters never get it right. A rain prophetic chicken? Hmm. Guess we can use this to take take to set the mood. A chicken? Hey, that TV shot looks good. Something funny about this TV. I think there was a lightning strike nearby the other day. Might have messed it up. Actually. I'm pretty sure it happened the same day that Walter, you know. Really? Whoa, VCR player, fancy. How much is one of these going for now? Some two million cruzeros? Cruz, what? what? More than that, I think. Walter took a loan to pay for this. He told me this one time he gave me a ride. Coffee's almost done. Oh. Hey. Will you have one? Uh, yeah. Be my guest. So, did you think it over? I did. Let's get this done with. Great. We'll begin shortly. Let's shoot the interview on that chair, Silva. Ready? Oh, I don't like her freaky deaky eyes. Her eyes are weird. No, but it doesn't matter. Okay, let's go. In three, two, one. We're here with Mrs. Adriana Martins, wife of Walter Martins, our dear colleague who left us so abruptly. She agreed to give us an interview during these most trying of times. The house itself really tells a story about how you two lived. Um. Gunpowder. What's been getting you through these difficult times? Gunpowder here helped me more than anything else. The jog? Of course, he's been quite sad. Oh, I don't like the way she's looking at me. It's so creepy. Oh my god. He knows something's amiss. He misses Walter. At least taking care of him has taken my mind off things. Um. Certificates and degrees. You two are quite well educated, aren't you? You could say so. I studied quite a bit. 
history, theater. Theater? I met Walter at an eloquent workshop. Eloquence workshop. I used to help him out. With eloquence? Can you believe he had a speech impediment? Bad diction. Nobody notices it today. He art his articulated speech. That was my gift. Let's, uh, maybe the raincoat. Maybe it's, um, you know, like a joke that'll make her smile. Many of Walter's things are still around here. Yes, I've been thinking about selling the apartment. Because of... Of everything. These things just make it all more difficult. I'm thinking of getting rid of everything. It's hell. Mm. How about... <sighs> what would less likely make her angry? To let her know we've been snooping through her stuff? An electronics manual? Walter was an avid reader. What had he been reading these last few days? He'd walk all around the house with some manual or something in his hands. An electronics manual, I think. He kept messing around the VCR. I noticed because he even stopped reading the papers. Look, I'm sorry, I don't think I can keep going. Of course, Mrs. Martins. We have enough material already. He was so different. So nervous. I never expected him to... <sighs> no one expected that, Mrs. Martins. I still can't even imagine Walter handling a gun. Gun? What gun? Walter had never had a gun. The... The gun, the, the one he used during the show's broadcast, <gasps> he did not use a gun. I, I know it was horrible, but I saw it when he pulled the trigger. That's what Ferreira told you back at the station, right? Uh, I was told he used a knife, took poison. I was told he hanged himself? Uh, I don't know what he was told. I'm just supposed to make something up? Uh, sure. What? How can that be? My God. I knew it. Ever since he got that damn tape. The tape he tried to broadcast? I also examined the tape back at the studio. I think the film was burned, something like that. That wasn't the tape, not the original one. That was a copy. Why are these words highlighted? Why? Seriously? Do you still have the original one? Yes, here. I don't know what he saw in this thing, and I don't know where he got it from. Walter made me swear to never watch it. He only watched it when I wasn't home, or in the small hours of the morning. You want to watch it, don't you? For your show? I don't think that's a good idea, but I'm too tired to try to change your mind. I... I'm going outside to have a smoke. I don't even want to hear this thing. <gasps> this is it. We have quite the story here. You look like you've seen a ghost. You'll stay, right? Uh... Yeah, I just gotta see what the hell's going on here. Well, yeah, that's what we're here for. That's what we're here for, man. I knew I made the right decision in bringing you with me. Okay, this is how we'll do it. You film me as I watch the thing. Okay.
Okay. We'll have more takes that way. We can insert the tape's content in the video during editing. This is not good. Right. Let's make some room here. Maybe move your head out of the way. All right, let's begin. So I'm just gonna film the back of your head. Okay. Let's get my first impression on film. We can fix it all on editing later. Your first impression would be your face watching the screen, not the back of your head. There, I'll press play. Okay, do it. It's starting. Is this like the ring? What is this place? I don't recognize this building. These symbols. I... I can almost... Do they mean anything to you? Looking at them makes my head hurt. Gives me deja vu. I feel like I can almost understand them. Maybe? But at the same time, I can't. It feels like they get entangled inside your brain. Oh, it changed. Good. Good? So, he did go inside the building. Is this a building or the inside of an 18-wheeler? What is this place? What? Looks like a prison, a shopping mall, a museum, a school? It definitely doesn't look like a shopping mall and it definitely doesn't look like a museum. Maybe a school? Are those classrooms? Why do their clothes look so much like my high school uniform? He's just walking by everything. What sort of building is this? It's way too long. Look, there's someone up ahead. What? That guy. He looks... He looks... Stop it! Did you get that? Oh, I can hear it just fine, thank you. I'll turn up the volume, please don't. Oh God, that's terrible. That's... It's backwards. It's backwards. Take my hand, we'll take a walk. Get to zero inside the lot. I'll buy you the sky. Sounds like it mentioned someone named Oscar. Ska, we're assuming control, Ska. It, no. I don't think it's any of those things. I thought it said Oscar. Someone named Oscar? I don't... I can't hear anything about an Oscar. I can't understand a damn thing. Let me turn up the volume one more time. Please don't. Please don't. Oh, 
Whew. Why do we keep getting closer to her head? Yeah, that's it. I'm turning this thing off. What happened? I turn it off and the world goes black. Elevator music. Okay. Oh, this is our channel. I'm digging it. Okay. We're in the right building. What? Is the camera on? Let me remove the lens cover. Okay, hurry up. Let me get the button. Sixth floor, apartment 608. What? We're in a loop? You look like you've seen a ghost. Uh... Just some deja vu. Boo? Right. <sighs> I didn't hit the button that time. Let's get to the 608 already. Head towards the window. Head directly to 608. Uh, no. Why would it say head to the window? Uh... Yeah, go towards the window. What are you doing? How about you stop wasting our time? Can you do that, hmm? I thought we could shoot some footage here for the video. Ah. Okay. Well, you shot it, right? Come on, let's go. Dude. There's the apartment. Uh-huh. Finally. What? I'll do the talking. Uh-huh. Good evening. Okay, that's different. We're from Channel 8. We came to talk to you about what happened. Uh, that's different too. You don't mind if we record this, right? I... You want to talk about Walter, right? The recent events? Everything's stuck in your throat, isn't it? Oh, that's a little bit too forward, Juliana. Come in. It might be good to speak to someone. Yeah, aren't you coming on a little too strong? No, we need to investigate this. She's got her whole life to mourn. Okay. Juliana just sunk to the bottom, the bottom of the barrel. If Juliana dies, I'm perfectly fine. Come on, get in. Plus, she's being very bossy today. Well, it's the same day. Same day, but different. We're about to begin. Will you have anything? Tea? Coffee? No, thanks. Oh, okay. Well, I'll go make something anyway. Uh-huh. Doug! No, let's just... God damn it. We'll have to wait for her. I'll... I'll have a look around here. Yeah, whatever. Is she still in there? 
Yeah, I hear water or something. Yeah. God damn it. What is wrong with her? Juggy. Hey, gunpowder. He seems a little nervous. Uneasy. Yeah, probably. Or is he afraid? Look at all these certificates. Walter wasn't a complete dumbass, unlike some people back at the studio. Right. But I don't recognize any of these institutions. So many books. Hmm. Huh. There's one missing. Ah, uh, the one we looked at? I'm pretty sure there was a pair of boots here when we came in. Hey! There's a weird thing hanging above the front door. Look. Go there and take it off. Why would we touch somebody else's shit? Why? Really? What? You heard me. You can reach up there if you jump, right? You want me to jump up and grab something off of somebody's wall? That's, she's got some problems. So take it down. It's getting on my nerves. You're getting on my nerves, Juliana. I'm gonna take you down a notch. What the hell? Yeah. My mom had one just like it at home. So? Looking at this thing reminds me of her. I don't want to remember her. Well, that's too bad. So, can you take that down? I won't do that. Do you always talk back like that? Yeah, when somebody's being rude to me. It's just a little favor. Come on, we'll put it back up later. I'm not messing up the poor woman's home. Fine. What kind of plant is this? No idea, man. It's well taken care of. I think Mrs. Martins didn't let the tragedy affect her routine. Maybe it's what's keeping her in function and functional right now. Hmm. Or just functional. Okay. There. We didn't look at the TV. Shit. Let's get to the point. Walter took a tape to the studio, but it wasn't the original one, was it? The original is here, with you. How do you know that? We examined the one he had with him. I want to see the original. Well, yes. I have it here. Do you know where he found this tape? Is this why you came here? Had I known, I wouldn't have opened the door. Here, take it. I don't want to see this thing. I'll go have a smoke outside. Tell me when you're done. Yeah, she's a widow. What's gotten into you? I don't have time for this. But, fine. You're right. This whole thing is making me antsy. You know what? Why don't you go check up on her? Even better, interview her. You always wanted to do that, right? Here's your chance. See if she's up to answering some questions about the origin of this tape. Uh, really? Ah, there she is. Deep breaths. What's the smell? It's not the cigarette. No, focus. If I do a good job, I might get new opportunities. I can help Mrs. Martin feel a little better. I'll probably change nothing, but I still want to do it. Maybe we'll help her feel a little better? It's what I want to believe, at least. Mrs. Martin's? What is it? 
Is there anything to look around besides her? Nope. Are you done? Not yet. Juliana's watching the tape. Meanwhile, I wanted to ask you some questions. For your program? Shouldn't the girl be asking the questions? Uh... Actually, I got worried about you, ma'am. I've seen many people like that girl in this lineup work. Because of Walter. People who stop at nothing. Ugh. Fine. Let's do this interview of yours. You better think very carefully about these questions of yours. My head's about to burst. Mm. Well... How was Walter on that day? Normal, just like any other day. He spent so much time watching that thing, but his behavior was the same. He was uneasy, but I never thought it would come down to this. I'm not sure you've seen it, but he left a note. I only noticed minutes after it already happened. The only strange thing that day was that he made a copy of the tape. Do you know where the tape came from? No, we need to investigate this. I think he got it at home, but I didn't see who delivered it. Walter collected movies, hard to find films, recordings. I thought it was just another one. Just thinking about that girl alone in my living room watching that thing. Makes my skin crawl. Say, why is she so interested in that tape? Uh, because it's an important piece of this case? I'm guessing that's why? Yes. I can see the greed on your colleague's eyes when she asked for the tape. To be honest, I thought you'd ask questions about Walter. He was your co-worker, no? Well, that was the plan. Was it, really? Don't you think that colleague of yours is acting a little strange? I... I could swear I've seen her before. To be honest, I have a feeling I've seen you before as well. Maybe I've seen her at the studio, I'm not sure. I don't think so. I haven't been working there for long. Hmm. Maybe that's why you don't seem to be like her. Not yet, anyway. Me? Yes. Why are you in this, anyway? Well, this is my job. I don't get to pick my tasks. So you choose to omit yourself, right? No. I shouldn't blame you. You're not at fault. Not really. You know, I get it. I get the idea of moving up the ladder, the allure of a sensationalist piece of news. You can see it too, can't you? Nothing good came from this tape, from this whole thing. That's precisely why we need to investigate. Do we really need to? Is it really the search for truth that's motivating this story you're working on? Or is it something else? And if it is something else, then it wouldn't be right. I... I want to know. It is. That's the reason it's necessary. If you really believe this, or you say you believe it at least, who am I to stop you? Look, I've got a splitting headache. Go check if she's done, then leave, please. I want my living room back. Thank you for the interview, Mrs. Martins. What? Oh, no. What's going on now? Oh, 
loop de loop 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 okay i need to reach the apartment what the apartment uh-huh which apartment? Uh, 608. Yes, that was it. Uh, I had someone else with me. Ju. Ju. Juliana. Juli. Uh, one in. How could I forget her? Each step makes it harder to remember. That tape. Uh-huh. What I saw in it. I watched an unrecorded nightmare. Was seen and forgetting the name of what I saw. I saw the past of a future that never happened. What? I was seen and forgetting the name of what I saw. I saw the past of a future that never happened. Did we? I don't know what we saw. Maybe that? In which future do I exist now? From which past did I come? The apartment. She stayed there. Juliana? to record everything? What is that noise? Oh, I don't like it. Everything can be used. Okay. The sound. Do I really want to follow it? Yeah, I, th I think we need to. What is this door? Uh, looks like an elevator. Is this where she was? The door won't budge. But there's a grate. What's in there? What? Is that Juliana? What was that? That woman, I... Do I know her? Why am I tearing up like this? I don't know. Why? Why would you be crying? It's no use. There's nothing else I can do here. Weird smell here? Where did I smell this before? The trash? Weird smell. Where did we smell a weird smell? Oh, by the window. By the lady. Mrs. Martins. It's a joggy. Gunpowder? What happened here? Joggy? Why is the jog here? Where's your owner, hmm? Hey, gunpowder, where's your owner? Am I imagining things, or is the dog avoiding the apartment? Uh... Oh no. Not now, come on. Did our camera light go out? Ah. Uh. 
powder. Come back here. What's going on right now? What's gotten into him? He just dashed down the hall. Huh? Looks like he was lying on top of some note. Is this a note that Mrs. Martins was talking about that her husband had written? Uh, inspect the note. It's a note. I've had it and did what I shouldn't. I now live the past of a future that never happened. I moved through strange events, ephemeral facts, truth and lies no more more than an idiot's dream. If anyone reads this, don't leave gunpowder alone. She, she also. Ugh, these letters are giving me vertigo. Why? Wait, the jug. Where did he go to? Gunpowder? I'm, I'm going inside. Am I going inside? Really? Really? I will. <sighs> I just noticed it now. And it's awful. The smell? Is the smell back? Say it out loud. The camera carries me. Not the other way around. I can't even tell when this started. Perhaps a long time ago. Maybe when I submitted my application. Gunpowder? I'm going in. The TV's broken. Where's gunpowder? Shit, no. Where's the dog? Dog. Joggy. I can't look at anything? Joggy, where's the chair? The chair's gone. Joggy. Why can't I look at anything? The chicken's gone. Oh, did you see that? You see these lights coming from under the bedroom door? What the hell is that? What about the book? It's not there. Well, there's the jug. What? What's happening? The chicken's in here. Esteem viewers, good night. Today we'll have a special broadcast in our show. Possibly my last one. I have an announcement to all of you. During the last few weeks, I've made a discovery that has haunted me. Words are not enough to describe what I have uncovered. So, I'll have to show it to you. And there's a chance this will come to haunt you as it has haunted me. However, my profession, my work during all these years has been to reveal the truth. If we want to be free, I need you all to know that I'm about to show you. In order to do this, I ask that all of you correctly tune in your TV sets. Do not cross your legs. This is important. But stay at ease with the straight back and watch carefully. I'm watching. I'm watching. What? What? 
What is all this? What's this? All these things. Hmm. Apparently there are multiple things to be unlocked. Well, well, well. What? What's the question mark? What is that? Two people have been reported missing. 18 has not been seen since fourth. We had a chance to speak with the mother. Do you personally believe that there is some sinister hiding in there? No, of course not. People love ghost stories, but in the end, they're just stories. Just stories. Just stories. Just stories. Just stories. Just stories. Drowned Lake. Oh, is that going to be a new game? Ooh. That must be another game that they're coming out with. I'm not going to go through and play all the different iterations that you can get because I want you to go over and check out this developer's page on itch.io. Um... Let's go back to the main screen. Yeah, I don't I don't like to to get all the endings in these types of games because I want you out there to go and try to get the endings that I don't get. And so you can experience it for yourself and uh have a new ending. But yeah, very very cool game. I really liked it. It was disturbing and intriguing at the same time. And I feel like I didn't even touch the surface of what the tape was about. I'm not sure. I'm still not sure what this tape was about. But I feel like maybe I'll go back on my own time and find out. And hopefully I've left you with enough intrigue that you want to find out for yourself, too. But I will be leaving the link down in the description for this game. It is free on itch.io. And I think everyone that watches this should go check it out for themselves and see if they can get a different ending than what I did by making different decisions. But thank you so much for joining me tonight. I hope you had a good time. I know I certainly did. This uh, game has disturbed me a little bit. And as it is my bedtime, I may have a very weird dream tonight. <laughs> I hope that you all have sweet dreams. And I would ever so appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button. And subscribe so you can haunt my channel. And I will be back again very soon with another scary indie horror game for us to enjoy together. But thank you once again for joining me, and I will see you on the next game. Goodbye! Silence! Silence! I'm a lot of fear, and fear is the mind killer. And fear is the little death that brings total obliteration. I will face my fear. I'm permitted to pass over me and through me. I must not fear. fear.